at the back of your mind that it does not really matter what the devil intends to do this year when they say there is a casting down you say as so long as there is a lifting up there is a mounting up there is going to be a lot of storms but we will go above it we will soar above it and I want to let you understand that because we have waited upon the Lord and because we are going to wait upon the Lord we would mount up with wings as eagles it's a dimension that God is going to give in the days of challenge it's a dimension that is hidden itself in the beloved the ability to be able to go beyond the shores of darkness. Psalms 104. Because of the want of time, let us consider Psalms 100. Verse 4. In the next 10 minutes, let me give a little, little bit of definition on thanksgiving, then we pray. The Bible said, enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. He said, be thankful unto him and bless his name. When you go further into Psalms 95 2, the Bible said, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with Psalms. Glory. Many people will wonder why all of a sudden many more times we begin the year with thanksgiving. It was because the Lord told me many years ago that every year to me, it doesn't matter how sad the news is, I should begin it with thanksgiving. The Lord told me that everything multiply upon the strength of thanksgiving. Everything. Everything. The Lord told me many years ago if I cannot be thankful for the little he has given unto me, what I have will be gone. I can never begin my year without being thankful to the Lord. It doesn't matter how bad the sadness of the news I've had. It's not sufficient enough to take away my joy, take away my peace, and take away my gratitude towards God. Every man that is grateful to God has never lost a battle in his life. Everyone that ever lost a battle in life are men that came to a point that judged God unfaithful. And the Bible says God is faithful. You can never come to a point where you can change the faithfulness of God. You may think he is not faithful. You may believe he's not faithful. But your circumstances are too weak to justify that God is not faithful. And if you are wise to leave your circumstances and come to the standpoint of truth that God is faithful, I'm telling you the truth, you will receive the strength and the supply of the grace of God to lift you. Everyone that look at the storm is taken by the storm. But whosoever behold the Lord, he stands steadfast as Mount Zion that can never be shaken. So anytime we come to tell the Lord thank you, it's not because we are not feeling the pain. It's just because we love the Lord so well and so much that we can look beyond the pain and still recon unto him. There is a strength hidden in the weakness of a man that only thanksgiving that can unveil it in the days when a man is weak if he can open his mouth and say god thank you in the midst of that tears the heavens can be opened and the windows of heaven can pour out blessings every glory come with a pain but for you to be able to assess the glory and neglect the pain you must be thankful unto the lord if not the body will be too heavy for you you will even insult god no one that Job said, even though he slay me, yet will I praise him. That's gratitude. That's thanksgiving. We have come to let the Lord know that we are not tired of him. We have come to let the Lord know that no matter what he do, we are still here. You are angry with God, what will you do next? If you think God is not faithful, is the devil faithful? So anytime we enter into the court of God, we come with thanksgiving, we come with praise. Anytime we step into the house of God, we come first of all acknowledging that God is faithful. Our gratitude will always return back to the Lord. Everything multiply 
upon the strength of thanksgiving. Anytime a man is not thankful to God, he's an ingrate. And whether you like it or not, Jesus proven it to us in the book of Matthew, chapter 15, from 36. The Bible says, And he took the seven loaves and the fishes, and he gave thanks and broke them and gave them to his disciples. Immediately, when he took that which was little and he gave thanks to God, God multiplied. I know your life is nothing. Please, you may be one. Take it to God. Let God multiply to two, multiply to three. But if you are not thankful to God, even the one you think you have is God. Thanksgiving is sacrifice. It takes sacrifice for a man to be thankful to God. I'm telling you. See your sacrifice. In the book of Psalms 116, verse 17, the Bible says, I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. So anytime a man offered unto God thanksgiving, God accepts it as a sacrifice. 